population health and public health are certainly related. And, you know, I, I think of them as, in some ways, um, a Venn diagram with a really, a really nice, healthy overlap. Population health is um, distinguished in my mind, though, in that it really extends the lens of population health, extends into clinical care delivery into that health system realm all the way from there into the communities so the department of population health sciences is uh is a robust and growing department. Currently we have 45 faculty whose primary appointments are here and these are faculty whose research ranges from um, everything from basic science, the bench, to work at the bedside in in clinical settings and all the way into the community. Um, we also have 47 faculty with secondary appointments here and that's really important because those are those are our clinical faculty who collaborate with us on those research programs and bring um, their wealth of expertise to the work that we do. I'm Alan Brookhart, a professor of population and health sciences at Duke University. I study patterns of use of medicines as they're used in real world populations, and I also study comparative safety and effectiveness of those medicines in the real world. Uh, as you know, many drugs are approved in large clinical trials that are very controlled and enroll very selected patients. But once medicines are approved, they're used very broadly in, in populations, often used by many patients who weren't initially included in the trial. And so I do studies into the effectiveness of, of those medicines and safety as they're used in these populations that are often not studied in clinical trials. If we find that medicines are effective in certain populations, more effective than we might have anticipated, we can promote their use in these, in these populations. So, uh, so the work that I do can potentially have a very large impact on population health. Uh, my name is Amy Corneli and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Population Health Sciences. I've worked in biomedical HIV prevention for over 20 years. Right now, my research focuses on pre-exposure prophylaxis, otherwise known as PrEP. And I work with young women in Sub-Saharan Africa and black same gender loving men and black women in the US South, all who are disproportionately affected by the HIV epidemic. And part of what I do is to partner with community groups to conduct formative research so we can get a better idea of the determinants that support and hinders people's ability to take PrEP. And then we use that information to develop and test interventions that encourage and support people's uh, decisions to use PrEP for as long as they're at risk for HIV. My name is Mark Reiser, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Population Health Sciences, joined with the Department of Mathematics. Most of my research is really in the area of stage zero or very early stage breast cancer, which is diagnosed in about 50,000 women each year in the U.S. alone. As we develop better and better cancer screening technologies, we find more and more of these very early stage tumors where it's just not clear whether the, the benefits of really aggressive treatment will outweigh the harms that come from side effects of, of the different therapies. And so in my research, I combine different data sources from the biologic, the clinical, and the population level to really understand how these tumors, how they initiate, how they develop, and then to find out in which patients can we dial back the, the extent of treatment so that they can avoid the potential harms of surgery and other therapies. My name is Charles Morori and I'm in the Population Health Sciences Department. So my research focuses on uh, folks with multiple chronic conditions and I'm currently mostly looking at folks with HIV and cardiovascular diseases. I hope is to really reduce mobility uh, that comes with multiple chronic conditions, looking at it from multiple levels, at the patient level, provider, and the health system level. In the Department of Population Health Sciences, we all are aiming to improve population health, focusing on communities that are experiencing some sort of health disparity or inequality. I believe a very meaningful way to do that is to partner with groups within those communities. Um, community representatives are experts in their context, just as scientists are experts in conducting research. And we both need to be at the table to, be, to have a, a meaningful impact in the research that we do. 
One thing I enjoy in the department is the ability to have access to a diverse uh, group of researchers who focus on different things. And then being able to have a good collaboration that could potentially be innovative and have impact when you think about folks who just are either disease agnostic uh, or are going to be looking at different, different ways. So. In my research, I, I strive to really complete the arc from the basic science side where we um, try to understand the mechanisms of how cancer initiates and grows, all the way to the development and, and implementation of practical tools that you know, help entire patient populations make better decisions um, in, in practice. And I think this philosophy, this holistic approach of really going from the basic science side understanding the mechanism of disease all the way to translating these insights into to practical tools that help patients is a core value of um, population health science as a field. The department has four core values. Diversity, impact, integrity, and rigor. We answer important questions about the health of the communities in which we live um, and to answer them in rigorous ways that can drive action, change, and, and real impact in people's lives.